I'm a southern girl who loves to cook. You'll find a little of everything here from southern to international, healthy to sweets. Welcome to my kitchen. Hi everybody, today I'm going to be making an authentic Mexican hot sauce. I got these habanero peppers and jalapenos from our garden. Don't they look beautiful? Well, of course I'm not going to use all of those. I just wanted to show them to everybody. I also got these tomatoes out of our garden. We have Roma and um, I think they're called Best Boy or Big Boy, something like that, tomatoes. So I'm actually going to be using a mixture of Roma and just regular tomatoes. We'll also need cilantro, some onion, garlic, cumin, salt, and then you can choose if you're going to use jalapenos or habaneros. We have a bunch of habaneros. I've got to figure out what to do with these. For today, I'm just going to be using um, some jalapenos. That's what I normally use for this hot sauce. So let's get started. Okay, I just got through washing off the tomatoes and jalapenos that I'm going to use. Usually, I'll do about six to eight tomatoes to three jalapenos. You can do less tomatoes if you want it to be spicier, or you can do more jalapenos if you want it to be spicier. But normally, I will double the amount I'm using against the jalapenos. So, for example, if I'm using three jalapenos, I'm definitely going to use six to eight tomatoes. If I'm using four jalapenos, I will use eight to ten tomatoes. These are some pretty big jalapenos and I'm actually using a mixture of Roma and regular tomatoes. So um, it looks like I have a bunch in here, but these, these tomatoes came from our garden and some of them are pretty small. So you can, I guess, use whatever you want, but um, just start off with less jalapenos than you think you're going to need because it normally ends up being too hot. I've got a pot of water over here on the stove that I'm going to add everything into. I want to bring everything to a boil. Okay, you just want to Bring this to a boil so that the jalapenos and the tomatoes are soft. We're going to be using the blender for this. So while I'm waiting on everything to boil, I'm just going to um, go ahead and start adding the other ingredients into the blender. So I'll use like, I don't know, an eighth of a cup of chopped onions, so by the time I chop that up in the blender, it would be about an eighth of a cup. Just a piece of onion, basically, is what you want to put in there. And then I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. Now I'm going to put in some cilantro. Okay, for the cilantro, you can use the leaves, but what I found I like to use the leaves for other recipes and I will just use the stems. It works out great. I just rinse these off. Um, basically, so now you can get that delicious cilantro flavor without using the leaves. You're just using the stems. And then I'm going to throw this in the blender also. Okay, now I'm going to add um, one teaspoon of cumin. And now I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so basically what I have in the blender right now is like one-fourth of an onion, a half a teaspoon of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of salt, the stems of one bunch of cilantro, and one teaspoon of cumin. I'm waiting for my jalapenos and tomatoes to come to a boil. Um, I just wanted to mention that my husband is originally from Mexico. And when we used to go visit his family, his mother and sisters would make this hot sauce. Now, they would do it a little bit different because they would actually fry the tomatoes and jalapenos in oil. I'm not sure if there's a specific reason why they did it that way versus boiling them 
but um, I figured we really don't need like all that added oil because after they would fry them in the oil, after they blended up the hot sauce, then they would pour it back into the oil. And I'm not sure what why they did it that way. Maybe it does something to the flavor. I'm not sure. But um, I omit the oil in that whole process because I find that it's healthier. So the hot sauce we're going to be making is completely natural pretty much for the most part especially if you use um, garlic like an actual garlic clove not the one that's already chopped up and prepackaged in the glass container but um anyways the tomatoes and jalapenos we got out of our garden they're organic and pesticide free so if you are into that kind of thing this is a great great way to use up some of those tomatoes and jalapenos and it's very healthy for you okay so once um, you see your tomatoes getting like this then we want to transfer them into the blender make sure that there's no stems on them I'm actually going to start blending this and um, then I'll add the rest in in a minute make sure that you cut these stems off of the jalapeno or else it will not taste as good all right I've got the rest of the jalapenos and tomatoes in here now you might want to be really careful if you put really hot things in a blender and then you turn it on sometimes it will shoot out the top so I kind of let it cool before I liquefy it I'm going to go ahead and liquefy what I've got left to mix up in here alright it is liquefied Ooh, and that pot is still hot okay put it back in there and I'm going to actually stir it and then I'm going to um, taste it and see if it needs any more salt or anything like that so let me give it a little taste Ooh, that's hot and yes it does need some more salt so I'm going to just add some salt you'll want to do that to taste and then once this has cooled off you can store it in the refrigerator which is what I do I actually put it in glass containers glass jars um, and we just take some out whenever we want some it's great I hope you guys enjoy all right guys I have some taquitos here I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on top and this should be really good with this hot sauce it's also great to serve over rice you can also dip um, chips in it just like a salsa anyways guys it's really good and I hope you'll give it a try thanks so much for watching bye